Let's talk about how you can use Moat and Google Forms. I've shared before about how you can use Moat in many of the Google applications, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and even Classroom. Moat allows you to quickly and easily insert audio into any of those and allow your students to utilize that audio to better help with whatever activities they're doing. But I forgot about one. I forgot about forms and it dawned on me this week. So I'm sharing my take on how you could use Moat inside a Google form. Let's jump over to the form that I've got ready to go. So it's a chapter quiz and you can see I've already added in a link to a Moat for this question. Let's hop down to one of the other questions and we'll see how we can do this. So let's say I want to add in Moat with my audio for this particular question. I've got the extension, so I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to record myself reading the question. The British withdrew from Boston in 1776 after it becomes the top moat on my recent. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard, click on my forms question, using the skinny snowman, include a description, and I'm going to paste the moat right in there. It really is that easy. So when your students go to preview or to take this quiz, this is what it will look like for them. They'll have the question and the link to the moat directly underneath. Let's jump over to a student that I've got set up, ready to go to take this quiz. Let's see how it looks for them. They're going to open the quiz, and they can easily listen. And here's the beauty. When they get to this first question, they click on the link. It will open a new tab, so be mindful of this. But it allows them to listen. Who said? I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. And then they can come back and choose their answer. They can listen to that moat as many times as they would like. Now this may not be the only way or the only possible way that you could use moat with forms, but it is one way and I think it's a really good one. So I hope this has inspired you and is truly a tech you can do tip that you'll use in your classroom.